and welcome back to another video so you'll have to forgive me because I'm going to be a bit out of breath walking across oh getting too old for this so yeah another quick video this afternoon I'm going to do something I haven't done yet and we're going to do a paddle tail versus pulse tail challenge so I've got a selection of lures which I'll let you see quite windy didn't give wind on the weather so yeah Sabbath gear lures paddle tail versus pulse tail going to give them 45 minutes to go each but the trick is, is we're not going to keep using the same lure for example the goby shad which I know is going to catch pike as soon as I catch a fish move on to the next lure and at the end of the session whoever's obviously pulse tail paddle tail whoever's caught the most in wins so yeah stick around stay tuned and let's get them okay so let's see what we've brought um brought a, a full range of different lures obviously you know you've all seen that I'm never ever going to go fishing without one of these um paddle tail lure obviously and um, we've got the likes of Bodie river roads again paddle tail and then we move on to the pulse tail lures now i'll be honest I haven't used these an awful lot i've got quite a range of them savage obviously brought these guys out and um, i know lots of people catch on them they do really really well very very like a paddle tail but completely different than the shape real natural movement of them in the water and you can actually see the water pushing each side of the each side of the lure as it moves we've actually got one of the new hard bait ones as well which we'll give a blast we'll maybe even start with that actually because I haven't used it properly yet so we'll maybe give that a go first so as I said already the aim of the game is I'm going to give us 45 minutes per lure so for example if I start with that hard bait pulse tail the perch pattern if I catch a fish within the first 45 minutes then that's obviously 1-0 to the pulse tail I'm not allowed to use that lure again and then I'll move on to after 45 minutes I'll move on to the to your paddle tail then whichever one to decide same rules apply 45 minutes um, and see how it goes really that's it so just to give you a bit of a look at what we're using as i said full range of different lures perch shots pulse tails you know they put it like this if there's not a lure in here that the pike don't want we're doing something wrong so yeah let's get at it okay so the water looks really really low actually believe it or not i can see the bottom and i can see quite a bit of weed right there but the reason I sort of came in here was because it's it's a lot more sheltered out of the wind. So we'll give it a go anyway. And we'll just keep moving until we find where we need to be. It might be too shallow here. Isn't this hard bait does it does sink a bit. So we'll give it a couple of casts in this area so we can see how we go. So obviously I can probably change the rules as I go along depending on the likes of the depth here if I need to change and move on to another pulse tail for the first for the 45 minute intervals now well that seems to seems to stay reasonably high in the water so that's good in fact it's probably perfect for in here bit of weed there I can't understand why the water's so low I know it is a shallow bay normally anyway, but it's not normally that. Okay, last cast. That's the pulse tail. And then we switch her up. Oh, there we go. That was our first hit. I mean, he took it the second time. I was literally... He's gonna jump, he's gonna jump. That was the last cast for the pulse tail before changing it. And he snagged one. They put the pulse tail lures 1-0 up. So he's only a baby. If he 
He might come off, I don't mind. We'll count it, cut and edit it, didn't. Don't want to stress the fish out too much. There we go, pulse tail, 1 0. Very lightly hooked. And that pike, trust me, is very lucky that it's not breakfast in this lake. So, last cast of the pulse tail and the hard body perch pattern. And officially, one nil up. Okay, onto the paddle tail. Okay, you get the big lad out. To get the get the paddle tails back in the game. I've added a five gram ball sinker weight onto it as well. Because that pulse tail was very, very, very slow sink. Even though it's a reasonably hard bait. So I'm pretty sure that a lot of the areas that I was fishing previous. I was fishing far, 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 far too shallow, so we'll, I'll give it a few casts back that general direction as well. On the off chance I missed something. Oh, <laughs> Pike had followed that in. Lifted it out just before it hit it. I wonder if he's still about. Yeah, <laughs> he took it again. That was a better fish. He didn't touch it though, he just swiped underneath it. Come on, where are you? So there goes my theory that the Gobi Shad will always get a bit of interest. Fantastic lure. I reckon that pike will take it. It'll be about somewhere. Definitely bigger than the first one by a, by a good bit. Six, seven pounds maybe. I'm sure he'll come back for it. Right, okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to move spots. Um, stop the timer, obviously. I want 10 minutes fishing, so 10 minutes left to catch a fish. I'm going to move round to the other side. I can't believe this hasn't got a fish. <laughs> we had two follows early doors, but obviously follows don't count. Um, either that or the, the Gobi Shads went on those Christmas holidays just a couple of days too early. But yeah, he's got 10 minutes left. We'll go round to the other side and uh, hopefully he gets one. Okay, round to the other side. Ten minutes. Can the Gobi Shad do it? Very out of breath. Really swampy area. It's very weedy around here, shallow and weedy. But it's usually always full of pike. I may need to take that ball sinker weight off. Maybe just a tad too heavy. We sneaky sniper cast into the weeds. Anybody in there? Yep. Yeah. <laughs> it was literally. A couple of minutes before, I took an easy two minutes before the goby shad was going to have to come off. Oh. Right. We can't count that. Because we couldn't net it. It was too far away. Tiny, tiny pike. So, unfortunately, time to change the goby shad. But, 
it did hook one it did turn a fish a couple of times over there so we know it's okay just taking a bit of a break for the christmas holidays all right on to the next pulse tail one nil to the pulse tail still third lure it's pulse tail number two don't need to tell you what that is it's the brown trout pattern really 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 fancy looking bait lovely and it looks really really good in the water as well nice orange belly on it moved on around slightly as well from where we were casting with the goby shad just into a different area where there's just a bit less weed similar sort of depth so there's no weight on this pulse tail again it's going to be quite a slow sink so we can give it a steady enough retrieve without having to speed up too much to bring it in yeah that looks awesome in the water again lots and lots of pushing of the water as you see it pulsing up behind the lure as it comes in I'm assuming that's where it gets its name from obviously Oh, there was a tech. Is he going to come back for it? It's our second cast. And we got a tech straight away. Like, I haven't moved too much further than where I was casting with the Gobi shot. Did he follow it in? No, he didn't follow it. Okay, get him back out there. Right, we've got the other side. Unfortunately, we are now out of the shelter, so the wind's going to be right on us. Oh, still getting the weed anyway. Yeah, so up to the edge of the weed line, slightly deeper water. It's a shame that conditions were so bad because some of the spots that I wanted to get into are obviously where the wind's blowing right in and it just wouldn't be wouldn't be great. The water's down very low so we're not getting into the into the nice weedy bays which usually hold a lot of fish. I'm sure they're still there but they can't get near them, just the weeds out thick. Oh look, that was a big pike that came right in there. Look at the swirl behind it left. Ah no. That was a big fish. What is he still about? Come on. Oh, he took it. He just missed it. Come on, please take it. Oh, come on. How many times? Come on. He took it that time. Oh, no. <laughs> Well, I don't think he was as big as I actually thought, but he's, he's certainly the best one we've got to have today. He's still there, come on. He might have felt the hooks in that last one. <laughs> well, that was insane. Oh, well, very good. Okay, we're going to try something with a bit of colour. Try a perch shot, fire tiger. Um, Everything we've been using has been natural and yes we're getting texts and lots of follows and we've only really had one fish in the bank. So I'm going to try this bit of shock treatment see if we can get a few reaction texts as opposed to them just swiping at it. Let's see. We've got about an hour left. Slightly more than an hour so enough for this lure and one more pulse tail. Oh, 
Oh, that was a tech there. Felt the head shakes. Come on, what's going on? Okay, so we'll switch on to this then. Pulse tail in the oh just standard roach collar but I've added the a BKK hook onto it. One of the UV ones. And I'm gonna add this little weight on but I need to squeeze it in because it's far 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 too loose. Oh, two in a row. Two bites in a row. First one I thought it was a weed. In the back, the second one he just grabbed it. Never. A couple of head shakes and that was it. Come on. And that was the put. Pulse still 2 0 up and probably the win. I have to say, I've had a lot more. Interest on the pulse tails than we've had on the on the paddle tails. Just can't seem to hook really anything. Okay, we've got the river roach on. I don't think I've ever actually used this colour or not. So get the screw corkscrew right into the bait. Doesn't look to be any teeth marks or any hook marks or anything in the bait, so I think this is a virgin bait. And then we'll stick the weight on there. And that's it then. Let's go. I do have a rattle actually somewhere. Where did I see that? Ah, we don't have time. Let's go. Oh, that was a tick! Come on! What's going on? Is he behind it? <sighs> Many times. They're just nipping at the tail. You just don't seem to want to engulf the bait at all. There we go, got you that time. Again, the tiniest, tiniest, tiniest bite. Like I hardly even felt that, just the tiniest wee nip. And I think if I get this in, it's gonna be one each. It's gonna be difficult to get them through all this weed. Oh, don't check it off, don't check it off. Can't get the net through that weed.
those salvage gear hook removal tools awesome so there we go fish number two so we've literally had two out of ten takes <laughs> nice fish except for that he's been nipped on the on the stomach there by something and that's one each so we're, we're more or less out of time but what i might do is uh thanks for playing is we'll just put the challenge out the window now and just concentrate on trying to get something in the last few minutes <laughs> although i might stick with this because i do like the i do like the movement of it brand new lure look at that chewed the bits okay yes another fish that's what we wanted one each on the competition right so we've caught on the paddle tail there's about 20 minutes left of the challenge and we're going to go back onto the gobi but we're going to try the pike flavored one so let's see if that does the damage then so it did say at the start that as soon as we caught on a lure we had to change it so we're still obviously within the time frame of the of the paddle tail which means we can switch on to another one i was contemplating sticking on the Sticking on the, the original Gobi Shad, the spotted bullhead one again, but I just thought we'd give this one a rattle. <laughs> oh, talk about leaving it to the last minute. <laughs> that was, well, I, had, I said last cast like three times, because I always do. But that was definitely the last cast, 100%. And the paddle tail steals the win. Three jacks. Don't like the look of that where that hook is. And he was hardly even hooked. That was it. So there you have it. Saved by the Gobi Shad. The tick an injury time win for the paddle tail lures 2-1. Thank you for playing. Get in. Home time. Okay, there we have it. Talk about an injury time winner for the Paddle Tails 2-1. Listen, it was just a bit of fun. I wasn't out really for a full day either. It was just a few hours and we thought we'd do something just a little bit different. Um, strange day really really strange for takes i mean i think there was easy nine ten bites and what three landed potentially four only i got stuck in the weeds but the takes were just really really gentle they were just nipping at the at the tail or they were swiping at it and not touching the lure just really really odd there was lots of rain the day and lots of rain last night so maybe that's just put them off a bit who knows but it was a bit of fun anyway it got us out for the afternoon as usual thank you for tuning in thank you for watching uh, big push for the 4,000 subscribers where we're getting very very close and uh, as usual thank you please don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already and we'll see you on the next video